Uh, hey, y'all. <sighs> Let's read. Hmm. Let's do it on board reading. <laughs> I ain't really bored, but I ain't got nobody to talk to. So I might as well do a reading and just talk to the camera. Got nobody to talk to right now. I was talking to my daughter on the phone a few minutes ago, but she at work. So, I'd rather do a reading since I'm getting. I just rather do a reading. The star card. Okay, I feel like at this time your wishes could be. No, nah, they're coming true. You healing? Something you could be getting over right now. Ten of Cups. Ooh, wee. Yeah, somebody wishes could be coming true. And I feel like you could be getting a lot of attention, too, and a lot of love. Okay, I feel like you're very, very, very nice. I feel like you're really a good person. And someone here could be worrying about money. I feel like you're very giving, too. Six of Cups. I feel like you could be dealing with some immature energies in. Um, somebody from the past want to communicate to you. I'm not going to lie. Anyway. So you're holding your hands up and you feel like somebody's being fake or something. Uh, it's somebody you could be kind of defensive to or they could be defensive towards you. No, this person jealousy. you. Golly, y'all always dealing with jealousy. Um, this person trying to play some kind of games with you or something like that. Um, this person, like, I heard a mastermind of tricking people. Here, this person coming up as the Queen of Cups, and the Queen of Cups coming up as the Magician. So this could be some kind of mother figure or something like that here. Um, something could be about money with this person. This person could be worrying about money and everything like that. And this person could be immature. Immature. This person could be very spiritual, too. Possibly even in the church. And now the source, I feel like something getting on this person's nerves and everything like that. But this person is going through a tower moment right now. Like, yeah, good Lord. You finna go through a tower moment too and have unexpected finances that's gonna be coming towards you. I see you getting some money. Anyway, um, let me see why you're looking at somebody funny. Um, something about a new beginning. Ooh, we, yes, that's why. Yeah, somebody, you're looking at somebody funny right here. <sighs> this person ain't right. Let me look at this person here. Oh, cause, okay, yep. This person that's a magician, very manipulative, mother figure type kind of person right here. Baby mama, mother figure, sister, something. But it's a mother figure though. Um, whoo wee, it's very fake. Um, this person got dirt on their hands. Oh, this person just dirty. This person is real dirty. And everything. This person who... Um, you could be feeling this person's emotions, too. Here. Something about money with this person, though. You could be frustrating this person, too. Because you're not giving this person what they want. Here. Somebody you love... It's crazy about this Queen of Swords figure here. Um, this person is wishing for a, a breakup. They can't sleep, a heartbreak, and everything. This person is a mastermind and a middle person. A middle person here. And you're looking at this person funny. Four of Swords. Here. I heard, give me a break, person. <sighs> Child. Two of Cups, the truth. It's like you know the truth about this person. This person real sneaky and conniving and everything like that here. This person mean. You can see it, but somebody you dealing with can't see that this person ain't right. 
Coco, come back over here. Don't leave. Betrayal. It ending. Darn. Okay. This person want to be you. This person want to be you. You're looking at this person real funny. The communication could be bad between this person and everything like that. And the lies this person tell and everything to the person who you're dealing with. It's so strange. This person believes this person lies and everything like that. Let's see the Ten of Swords, the Death card. What's that? Yeah. I just the Empress just came out here. This childish Empress card here. This person could be worrying about money and everything like that. The communication could be bad with this person too. This person is toxic and this person like control. Here. Something could be about money with this person. Um Okay, so let's see why this other person is offering this person, you know, being nice to this person here. Because this person showing up as the devil. There you are. Five of Swords. Yeah, because this person want to cause some kind of conflict and everything like that. I feel like you could be feeling this person energy. You're getting some kind of warning signs about this kind of person right here. Yeah. This person could be throwing some kind of temper tantrum too here. Um, you know, this person don't think like you do. They think really small and everything. And you know the truth about this person and everything like that too. This person greedy and they thinking about money. Good Lord, this person keeps showing up. Um, hmm. Somehow this person trying to play you. Right here. You know, I'm going to be honest. It could be something that this person wanted from you that they did not get, that they ain't going to get. I feel like you got your guard up with this person here. So you like, honey, I don't know what you thought you was going to get from me because you sure ain't going to get it and everything like that. Here, this person is thinking a lot about money. Let's keep going. The Seven of Swords. What's this lie? Let's see. Because there's some kind of love offer to this person here. Somebody loves this person here. And, whoa, whoa. Okay, there you go. That's why I wanted to come back on here. I kept seeing it. Um, the King of Swords, Knight of Swords, legal issues, and everything like that. Here, this person trying to turn somebody against you and everything like that. Here, too. Um, I mean, you could get real quiet on this person, or this person could get real quiet on you. Good Lord, they could. Here, um, and the communication. Wow. This person could be, this person is weird. Like, real weird. This person could be stalking you, too. Like, watching you, stalking you, listening to you, gossiping about you, everything like that. I said, what's this lie? Um, they could be putting, spreading, you know, putting stuff in this other person's ear. Teaching the other person wrong or, or something. Because this person is very manipulative. Here. Yeah, you could, the other person who loves this cuckoo person, um, this toxic person and everything like that could have started acting real strange to you about this other person. Hold on, let me see. Let me see. Because the reason why this person started acting weird is because of this other person. But this, I don't know if I should show this card. I don't want to get in trouble for showing that card. Okay. You and this other person was like really, really straight, cool, fine. You know, you could be just the kind of person that every time, you know, you get a good connection, good friendship with somebody, somebody always interfere, get jealous. Something like that. And somebody phone call to I feel like at this time, the best thing to do to this person is to ignore them. Ignore them. Ignore anybody that have anything to deal to do with them. Um, try not to 
feed this energy because this person want to see something fall down for you. You know, because this other person is telling this other person all your business here. This person to talk too much and everything. So whatever they tell this person about you, it actually, um, hmm. Well, whatever this other person tell this person about you, the other person can turn it around and make you look like the bad person. Put something in this person's head. This person is a master manipulator and a magician. Um, so this person can come out real sweet, real nice. You know, I heard Catherine. This person can come out like really nice, really sweet. So if you ever been around a person like that, you'd be like, you could see through the person. You could be like, I know that person ain't sweet. That person ain't nice. It's something about that person. But it ain't nothing that you could tell this other person about this person. So ain't no use to you even saying anything to that person about this other person, even though this person is trying to be a mess. Be messy. Be real messy. So, you know, just watch out for that, you know. So, like I said, the best thing to do right now is to ignore this person. Because especially if they're around the other person or if they're communicating with the other person, they're telling them everything. They're trying to make you look like the bad person when you complain about this other person. Because you could be complaining about this other person. You probably went, yep. You probably went and complained about this other person, you know, that's messy and everything. But when you complain about that other person, um, hmm, the other person probably just went and took their side. Like, they look at you like you're the problem. So since you're such a problem, because I feel like you was really good and nice to this, to the other person. Um, I don't know if it made sense. It probably gonna make sense to some of y'all. Um, you was really good and nice to the other person and everything like that. Whatever you were given, don't give this person your energy, your time, nothing. Don't give this person nothing. Because, just don't give them nothing. Let that other person give them everything, okay? Because you got somebody messy here that's manipulative, come out so sweet. So, that's the person that they want to be around. That's the person that they want to deal with and everything like that. They don't see it. The only person that can see that this person is messy is you. Okay, so this other person, the lies that this other person is feeding this person and everything like that, let them feed them because at the end of the day, this other person ain't going to be there for this, for that person like you are. Man or woman, work, love, life. You know, so cut ties. You know, cut that person off. Don't even make excuses. Say stuff like, um, what you doing? I'm getting my hair done. What you doing? I'm brushing my teeth. What you doing? I'm listening to the radio and I'm getting ready to fall asleep. You know, don't give that person no energy, especially if they're dealing with that toxic person. Because you don't want to deal with people like that. Let me tell you something. So it says, you know, some, some, the company that they keep, their friends, their family, their co workers, or anybody that they deal with. Honey, this is the kind of person you look out the window and you see them coming and you act like they ain't, act like you ain't home. Act like you ain't home. Or you see their number pop up on the phone, act like you can't answer the phone. Act like they got the act like they got the wrong number. You know what I'm saying? For real. All right, let's do it. Let's read it. Let's let's do another one. 